Hey everybody, this video is for the violas. This is your tuning 101 video. I'll help you get your instruments tuned while you're at home. So that way, when you go to play songs that I mention in future videos, it actually sounds decent. Um, instead, and that way, if you miss a note, we know that it's you, not your instrument playing it wrong. So, first thing we're going to talk about is how to know if your instrument's in tune. Other than playing it and like, oh, that sounds really weird. So, tuning apps. Uh, they are the best thing that I think has been created related to music since smartphones became a thing. Um, I love these apps because they're free. When I was in high school and college, I used a completely separate metronome and tuner that I carried in my case with me. It was like $80. Um, I Now, I don't, I don't even know where it is anymore because I have a free app on my phone. Um, so there are two apps that I really like. Um, both of them I can tell you for sure are available in the Apple store. Um, I don't know for sure if you can get them on Android devices. I am 99% sure you can, but I've never honestly owned an Android phone or tablet. So I can't tell you that for sure. Um, my favorite is called Tuner Light by Pia Score. That is the entire title that you'll see in the App Store. And my second favorite is called Inns Tuner Free. Um, Inns Tuner, it's all one word, just like the beginning of the word instrument. And then they chopped off the end, put the word tuner. Um, so I'll give you a quick visual. This is what the Tuner Light by PS4 looks like. Just giving it, see, it's trying to tune my voice right now. And the letters just keep changing because I won't stay in the same pitch. Um, the reason why I personally prefer tuner light by pia score is because it is more exact it will tell you if you are even the slightest bit off now that being said the younger you are and the newer you are to tuning which means fifth grade fourth grade you've never tuned yourselves um so the ins tuner free app is going to be easier for you to use it's just plain more user friendly you don't have to push any buttons you just open the app and it starts listening for you um, on Tuner Light by PS Score, you have to push a little tuning fork button, um, then it starts listening to you. And sometimes the Tuner Light by PS Score does glitch out a little bit and it stops listening and the needle won't move no matter what you do. Um, if that happens, you just press the uh, tuning fork button, turn it off, press it again, turn it on, or just close the app and open it back up and then you're good to go. And it will work again, hopefully for more than like 30 seconds. The sixth graders can tell anyone that they've seen it glitch a lot. Some days it'll do it every 30 seconds. Some days it won't do it at all. I honestly don't know the difference, but it's free and it's really good. I know a lot of other teachers that use it, so eh, it's worth it. All right, so you'll notice in this video, I am using my actual viola. You always know because I've got my chin rest right in the middle instead of off to the side like on any of yours. Um, so I am using my actual viola to teach violas how to tune. Yeah. Now, I've already gone through and checked this instrument before I started the video. And I got it perfectly in tune. And then I made it not in tune. All right. So I made, I left the A string in tune. I made the D string too high. Made the G string too low. And I made the C string not a C string. Because that's when we're going to talk about peg tuning at the end. All right. So when you go to... Uh, tune your instrument. You want to obviously have one of these apps going. Um, I have them just on a music stand right here off camera. So that way you can see them. Now, or you can't see them. I can see them. Um, now you want to make sure you use your bow when you do this. Because if you do it by plucking, it won't give you the true pitch of the string. But a bow will. Alright, then you want to start out by hopefully only having to use your fine tuners. To use them... You want to find the one that attaches to that string. So if you're not, never quite sure, just put your finger on the string, follow it all the way down to the instrument. The string and the fine tuner are physically touching each other. It's really easy to find. Then, if the pitch needs to go higher, righty tighty, turn clockwise on that fine tuner and it'll raise the pitch. If it needs to go lower, you want to turn counterclockwise or lefty loosey and you will hear the pitch go down. Now, when you look at the tuner, when you are correct, it'll give you a green light. Green means go. You're good to play. If it's giving you a red light on the tuner light by PS score, 
or on the Instant Tuner, it'll give, it'll give you yellow if you're close or red if you're really far away. Um, you also want to look at which way the needle is pointing. Um, if it's pointing to the right, it means your note is too high and you need to make it lower. If it's pointing to the left, it means it's too low and you need to raise it higher. All right, so like I told you, my A is perfect right now. D is too high, G is too low, C is really bad. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how we tune. We always start with our A string. And then we go down the string. So we always go A, then D, then G, then C. Don't ask me why. All I know is whenever you're in a professional orchestra, they always tune their A's. Um, and we just go in order because sometimes changing one string will change the pitch of the next string. So that's why we don't like to bounce around too much. All right, so you're going to grab your bow. You want to make sure you play with good posture, with a good bow hold. Um, fourth graders, you are still right here. You will get a video uh, before you come back to school teaching you how to slide your bow hold down to the frog. All right, so I'm going to turn my body a little bit so I can play right to my tuner. I'm going to go ahead and play my A again. Okay, it wasn't completely perfect, but now it is. Then we're going to go to the D string. That is still too high. I'm getting a red light on the tuner. So I'm going to turn counterclockwise, lefty loosey, and I'm going to play at the same time. This might be hard for some of you. If it's hard to play and turn the fine tuner at the same time, then just use your right hand, just play, turn, play, turn. But if you can, you want to hold it just with your face, then turn your left hand up inside, grab that fine tuner, and then play. stick straight up in the air and you get just a green light sometimes you get a green and a red light on P on the tuner light because that's how it tells you you're close you want only a green light so now my D is in tune so I'm gonna go to my G and notice I'm not doing this I'm using long bows like I'm playing half notes all right so I'm gonna play my G it's still too low so I'm gonna turn my fine tuner clockwise, which is righty-tighty. And there's my green light. Green means go. Now, C string. This is what it sounds like right now. And it's telling me on the screen that it's a B flat. I know some of you don't know what flats are yet, but a flat means a note is lower than the letter just by itself. Um, so that means... I don't know if my fine tuner will turn far enough to get it all the way up to a C. This is going to happen to some of you. This happens to some of you in class, and that's when I have to turn your pegs. Um, so what you want to do if you have to turn your pegs, you want to turn the instrument so the strings are looking right at you, and you're looking right at them. You want to take one hand to pluck the string, the other hand to turn that peg. Now, whether the peg needs to be turned lower or needs to go higher. You always lower the note farther first. Even if it's our, now if it's like completely loose, hanging off the instrument, you don't need to turn it that low. Um, you don't need to make it looser in that case. Now you always want to turn in small. So here, I'm gonna make it lower. All right, you heard me go lower. The reason why we do that is it relaxes the string. It takes us some of the tension off. So that way, you know, it's less likely to break in half. So now, while I'm plucking the entire time, I'm going to start turning it slowly up. I'm going to look at the tuner the whole time, wait for it to give me a letter C. There's a letter C. All right. Now, if you notice, I turned it little by little. I didn't crank it. If you ever crank a peg, you'll snap your string every single time. All right, so now that we've done that, we want to pick up our bows and we want to check it one more time. All right, I had to turn my fine tuner just a little bit higher after I turned the peg to make it a perfectly in tune C, but now I am perfectly in tune and ready to go. Um, the only thing I else, I only other thing I wanted to tell you was make sure that when you are tuning, you are always looking at the tuner. Always look at it. 
okay? You never want to look away from it while you're tuning, especially if you're using a peg. All right, that's a great way to break it. Now, if your string breaks, this is the hard part right now. I have spare strings at school for everyone that rents their instrument from the loft violin shop. They're at school. I'm not, and neither are you. Normally, I would tell you if your string breaks and you're still renting your instrument to call the loft violin shop and they'll send you a new one for free because that's one of the things they do as long as you're renting. They take care of all your repairs. However, they're closed at least for the next two weeks because they are not what's called an essential business. So they're not a grocery store. They're not a restaurant that sells food. They can't be open right now. It's just not safe enough. All right. So if a string breaks, I'm sorry. You're just going to have to pretend that it's there. Do some air viola playing. It's okay. You can totally be an air viola player. It totally works. So all right. Keep track for, keep your eyes out for open. Oh my goodness. Keep your eyes open for more videos in the future when I talk about songs that we're going to play. And they'll be more grade specific while this was for all the viola players. So good luck with your tuning. Be careful. Try not to break a string. Maybe rosin your bow first. And be safe. And wash your hands. All right. See you later.